Welcome back to another incredible week on the Max Potential Habits podcast. If you are someone who thinks that you're interested in building a platform through a podcast, you're going to want to stay tuned to this whole show because today I have on our very special guest, Chris Hines, who is the creative director for entrepreneurs and the host of the Greatness Unlimited podcast. This podcast was ranked in the top 10 on iTunes. He knows what he's doing. He helps people build their platform and think about podcasts in a creative way, in creative ways, in order to help you build your platform through podcasting. And he's going to bring us a whole bunch of great tips today to help you build a podcast that will build your platform and help you be known in the world. I can't wait to have this conversation. Welcome on the show today, Chris. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I, I think I, I really appreciate when I get these long intros because <laughs> <laughs> they always remind you that, okay, you've accomplished something. Yes. <laughs> so it feels good to hear. It feels great to hear. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, backstory for everyone listening. Um, I, I have to talk to people about how I meet my interviewees and who I bring on the show. And uh, you and I connected through Instagram and then, you know, I, I do a little vetting of who I'm going to bring on the show. And I listened to a couple of your podcast episodes and I was like, this is awesome. You had some really great money tips and I'm really into helping people with their money blocks and overcome money blocks with their mindset and all those things. And on your podcast, to me, you were very straightforward and, and you provided a lot of value. So I was like, okay, this guy's awesome. I want to have him on. So yeah. Yeah, I like going, I like taking that approach because I notice a lot of podcasters or bloggers, coaches, a lot of people try to add in a lot more fluff Uh to really make their content look attractive, but then it's not really all that valuable because they aren't giving people actionable things they can do. Like, I want to give you practical advice so that you can go from point A to point B. Awesome. I love that too. Um, you know, and it's something I've learned over developing the podcast. I love learning about people. So I get into their story and I'm like, Ooh, tell me everything about you. And then I'm like, Oh yes. And I know my listeners who love stories, love that. And I really like to bring practical tips every week. So in my solo cast, I give a lot of practical tips in my interviews. I really go, Oh, let's, let's have people on who are bringing a lot of value. So my listeners are taking notes and you know, they're contacting me. They're like, this is awesome. Thank you so much. So I know you're going to be that guy because when I listen to yours, that's, that's how you show up. (laughs) Give us a little background. How did you get into the world of podcasting? Oh man, it's funny. Um, people think I just started off in business or whatever, but it was actually basketball. Um, at one point in time in my life, I was coaching basketball I was still playing I was still playing um, in college I was a trainer as well I even was writing sports blogs so podcasting was like the only piece that was missing but I didn't know it yet Um, and I got I was on Twitter just in basketball Twitter just talking and a guy said hey would you like to come on my radio show and talk because I liked what you tweet about like your perspective and I'm like okay I'll try it out let's see and I didn't realize how fun it would be and I was like on a live radio and I did really well. And after I, you know, got off and it was over that night, I had maybe 20 people ask me what my podcast was. And I'm like, wait a second, what is a podcast? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I awesome. had no idea. And so it really inspired me to start my show. So that's when I started my very first show, the Simply Hoop Show. And it was terrible. It was very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have no issue saying that because it just, it was, it was bad. I lost a ton of interviews. My audio wasn't great. Um, I wasn't really all that consistent. Um, I wasn't specific on what I talked about. I was, all I know, I'm talking about basketball. I was it. And that approach really made that show just not as good as it could have been. But that was when I really learned a lot. So that was like the very, very beginning. And I like, everybody that thinks you need a ton of equipment, I started my podcast in my small studio apartment bathroom. Like I would be sitting on a toilet. I had a small desk. I didn't have a fancy (laughs) microphone. I had like the Apple headphones with the mic on there. That was it. I had no other equipment. So it's just, you got to just start, man. If I would have never started, I wouldn't be where I am now. I love that advice. And it's so true. You know, I think people overthink it when they're scared and they're kind of go, Oh, everything's got to be perfect. And I've got to spend thousands of dollars on equipment or even a thousand, you know, similarly, I, it's funny. I have pictures. I'm going to show them at someday, like the progression of my 
back, you know, the back end world of what we do. And the same thing, I was in the basement. I had this like rolling little table and I would, I, I did buy a Blue Yeti and that was it. And then I got three, I, you know, I used, um, is it Anchor? No, not Anchor. Uh, uh, what is it called? Audacity, which is free, you know, yeah. and I just started recording. I'm like, go for it. Why not? Let's just see what happens. And actually I didn't even have the Blue Yeti when I started. I just went with it, whatever I had. And and, and it was in an unfinished basement and I just had a backdrop, like a hanging backdrop in, in there. <laughs> you know? that, and it works. That's the it, best way to start. It totally the best works. Way. Yeah, I spent maybe a hundred bucks total. And you know, it was just, and then I just learned everything on YouTube and read about it and thought, okay, like, well, let's go for it. So that's awesome. And I tell people that's the best way to start because you don't know if you love it yet. So yeah. don't invest a ton of money yet. Don't do that. Just wait. Now, after you realize, okay, I like this. I know I can be good at it. I know it can benefit my business in the long term. That's when you go and you invest in money. You, you, may, you might go and uh, rent out a studio. You know, that's when it's worth it. But before that, do not start off and spend five thousand dollars on equipment because you don't even yeah. know what that equipment does yet. Like yeah, <laughs> just be totally. patient. Yeah. Yeah. That's such great advice for you now. How many podcasts do you air a week or how many episodes do you air a week? Actually now I do three a week, Monday, Wednesday, oh, Friday. Wow. Okay. And I, I like doing that much content because I love it. It's fun to me. And I have different strategies on things I do with my content because I can reach people at different levels. Um, like for example, on Mondays, I put out an episode that's less than 10 minutes and then I transcribe that entire episode and I put it on the Medium blog. Nice. And I do that because I didn't realize how powerful Medium was, but I got a couple of speaking gigs from putting my content on Medium. Nice. So I decided, well, why not just make content specifically for Medium? So Monday is just Medium Mondays where it's short information, very quick. You just easily consume that. Less than 1,500 words. That's like, great. It's that quick and then Wednesdays when I do interviews and Fridays I do solo casts like you talked about um, but those are a lot longer um, okay. less than 30 minutes but it's still in depth episodes you know and still yeah. in depth content so three a week for me I know it's a lot that's awesome no that's great and I and it to me it says that you really love what you're doing and so it's your main platform um, it's funny, I've gone back in and out of going, oh, do I wanna add another? Cause I do, I release two a week. And I similarly, my, it's funny because my 10 minute episodes that alternate between my interviews, the reason that they're 10 minutes is because IGTV videos have to be less than 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs> so people, I, it's, I've had people ask me before, why is it always right around 9.55? It's cause I'm looking at the camera going, oh, time is ticking, I gotta <laughs> wrap it up. And I'll notice sometimes I'll really wrap up the last couple tips really fast. <laughs> So it's kind of funny on that back end what happens and why those things occur. And I, I, I want to start doing more solo casts because you can really go in depth and, and dive deep. And it's so different than doing video, uh, you know, just airing your audio versus your video is a very different experience. Tell us, okay, so I'm sure you have a ton of great tips. You said you've been podcasting for two years now? Uh, five years now. Oh, five um, years. It's funny. Okay. Since I started in that basketball area, I've gone through production, uh, sponsorships. I had my own network at one time. It was way too early. I still don't know how I did that, but it That's worked. Awesome. Uh -huh. um, so I, I just, I've done so much in the world of podcasting. Now I kind of, I feel like in podcasting, it's kind of like dog years. I feel very old when it comes to having a podcast and how to produce a show and stuff. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. So it was great. The greatness unlimited podcast that you've had for two years. Yes, that okay. one has been two years. Okay. So tell us a little bit about, you know, you already gave some tips about when you start a podcast, don't overdo it in the buying of the equipment. What are some other tips for people who are just starting up? And, and I would love to hear from you too, your concepts around or your ideas around why it's so important to have a platform and build a platform. Yeah, so another great tip, I think, for beginners is to figure out why you're doing it. I think too many people jump into it just because it's the cool thing to do. Kind of like entrepreneurship overall. You yeah. know, everybody's kind of in the copycat game right now. I, it's probably always been that way, but this is just the hot thing right now. Um, but my advice would be to figure out why you want to have a, have a podcast. And if you want to get sponsored, you want to make money from talking about your favorite sports team, that's fine. I did that. 
if you want to build a business and get clients and have a platform, I did that as well. That can work. But you need to know why personally. It doesn't need to be publicized or anything like that. But you yourself need to have a deep understanding of, okay, I'm sitting down in front of this microphone by myself or with other people or, you know, other people virtually for this exact reason. Like I know for me, the Greatness Unlimited podcast is to educate more coaches, speakers, and authors on building their own platforms, right? Like I had a recent episode just explaining how I use my podcast to get speaking gigs. I know a lot of people in my industry want to know that. So I use my podcast as a platform to share that information. And as far as why you need a platform, I, I think the best reason is a good, it's a good list of 10, but the best one is because of the connections you make, mm, right? Yeah. Me having a podcast has allowed me to interview millionaires, uh, all kinds of celebrities, people who I never would have had a chance to really connect with had I not had my own platform. Yeah. And you got to look at it this way. Most people go to their favorite entrepreneur or mentor they want to have and they say, hey, can I pick your brain? Yeah. And what they hear is, can I pick your pocket? Yeah. And my guy yeah. Adam says. And, and so the, the, this is a part of that transformation to having your own platform is instead of asking that, you say, hey, I love what you talked about in this recent book. Can you come on my podcast and we discuss it? That's yeah. a completely different approach. Yeah. So now you can end up having celebrity friends just because you have your own platform. Yeah, absolutely. I've been, it's been so cool to see who I get to invite onto my podcast and have those conversations. And I think, you, you know, you said it's picking their pocket. It's time is money. Right. And we think about, you, you know, if we're helping people come on and go, Oh, let me share your book, your knowledge, your wealth of wisdom with the world you're helping them spread their, their message and their meaning. And so it's a win-win when you have a podcast versus when you're just asking for their time, they're like, well, what's in it for me? And that's understandable, exactly. right? I, I mean, I have all people coming to me all the time. And if they're just coming and saying like, I just want to take, 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 I'm like, well, what's an imbalanced approach to creating a win-win relationship. So exactly. a podcast is awesome because I get to have you on, help you build your platform. You get to help me build mine and we get to learn from each other and then share it with all of the listeners all at once. So it's a win-win-win situation, which is really cool. Yes. And I think people don't think that far when they're even reaching out. Um, yeah. I see so many people, they'll DM a celebrity on Instagram and say, hey, I love what you talk about, man. Can you come on my show? And it's like, no, be patient. Like, yeah. One of my best strategies for getting celebrities on your podcast is to take your time, be patient. Like you engage with their content for about two weeks. When they put out a video on IGTV, you leave a long comment, leave a thoughtful comment. And they're going to reply to you. And then you reply to them. Hold that conversation. Yeah. Right? When they put a book out, you go and you get that book. And then you read it. And you actually read it. Right? Yeah. You take the time to consume what they put out. And then when you do go and ask them to come on your show, they're going to say yes. Because you've already did the consumption. You've helped them out with engagement. You've given them something already. Yeah. And then again, you have to have a platform. Because celebrities don't go on podcasts. They go on platforms. That's a big difference right there. Yeah. Thank you.